Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday and I need to keep uh, get caught up on my scrap diary. You remember this little book that kind of has a history of what I've been what I've been doing in my craft room. So I'm going to do that and then I've got some scraps I want to work with as well. So let's say hi and hugs to Katrina, Carrie, Heather, and Janice. Thank you so much for watching, for your kind comments. So I've got some catching up to do because um, my last entry in my scrap diary was December. And let's see, it was the cabinet cards that I d digital, it's kit two, cabinet cards kit two that I had created. Um, so yes, so we're gonna do January. And I'm just going to keep going until I get to the end, and then I'm going to go backwards. That's that's my plan. So what I decided I would do is for January, I'm going to do a little kind of uh, sampling, I guess you would say, of my uh, quilts kit one and kit two. I'm going to do that and make the little squares and then february i'm gonna do my um vintage family photos kit and then march i'm going to do jelly print strips because you know i did well i did a whole bunch i did a whole bunch more i haven't sewn them yet but um the other day when i was watching march madness <laughs> i was i was working on these these kits or these pages so I need to sew those yet I need to put them by my sewing machine so I don't forget okay let's get started so I have my little template to make my little squares and I just thought I'd pick some happy fabric here and do some tearing out and make some squares so hope everybody's having a great day so far I really am um, having a great day so far. It's sunny out. It's cold, but it's sunny. That's something. And, um, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to be making a lot of scraps, so that's fun. <laughs> I'm always happy to make scraps. Um, yeah, anyway, it's supposed to be pretty nice i think tomorrow we're supposed to get snow again which is like boy at this time of the year it's tough to take it's like could rain all it wants to but i don't want it to snow anymore nobody asked me though you know let's see i want i want this part mostly so i might just be i just am gonna be picky let's just say that so we'll get these, I do nine squares in my little book. So yeah, you could make yourself a journal to do this, to kind of just, it just is sort of a documentation of your creative journey is what I would call it. I do love that one too. We'll see if we have, have room, but I want this one. I love this fabric. So, yeah, um, I think it's kind of a fun little thing to look back on and say, oh, I remember doing that project. It's also a good reminder, you know, if you kind of have forgotten about a certain project that you've done. I was thinking that was going to be about the right size, but no, not quite. I have to tear it down a little. So, so yeah, anyway, that's the scoop today is today is a home day. So I get to make videos and play in my craft room. I'm always happy on a home day. <laughs> I like doing stuff too, but it's always nice to have a home day where I can just be with you guys and be in my room and doing my, doing my happy thing here. Um, Okay, I don't know. Oh, these are fun. Um, gosh, what to pick, what to pick. Okay, first of all, I really like that one. So let's 
do this. I think I might take a couple for this one because I really like this bunny too. So maybe we need to do the bunny as well. Well, I'm making lots of scraps to work with, aren't I? Good, I get a little bit of that one too. I kind of wanted a little bit of that one. Yeah, so we're supposed to go Missoula to fri Friday to, um, it's my granddaughter's first track meet, but I don't know with the snow. We'll have to see how it is on Friday, I guess. <clears throat> oh, funny, that's the one I was gonna take from there was the same, the same one. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep going and see where I get to here. Because there's some on this page I really want. Like I want that. So some of these quilt patterns are the ones that I made covers out of. So that's kind of fun. It'll be fun to use the um, digitals in whatever journal I make with those covers. Which, um, let's see, I'll show them to you tomorrow. I'm getting there on having those completely done. I'll just kind of show you what I did. Okay, love that one. Um, I really would like this one because I think I told you when I was making the covers that that is the same fabric as a little clown costume that I made for, let's see. Which baby was it? I think it might have been my oldest daughter. And then the others wore it. It was first Halloween kind of kind of costume, about, you know, a year and a half old to actually it fit them until they were four. Like we just bunched up the legs when they were babies. <laughs> um, but it has a happy memory attached. So better have a piece of that. Where are we at? We've got five. Let's see. This is so pretty and light colored. I think I'll take a bit of it. This is one of the covers too. And I think I'm gonna go right about there and get the, get the pretty part of the print that I like. six and the corner of this one I really like the corner oh my goodness yeah I, there's there's so many that I like that's the thing well let's rip this off first which is why I made digital <laughs> oh better do this edge too This is fun. The scrap diary is a fun little project, I think. I just get going on other stuff and forget to forget to get her done, you know. So want some of the pink and the blue. We're making lots of fun scraps from the scrap diary. <laughs> Three, six, seven, a couple more. Oh man, what do I pick out of this? This is so pretty. 
Maybe right there. This one will be good too because it shows, um, you know, and it shows more of the quilting, if you will. Okay. That'd be eight. We need one more, and I'm thinking I might use this. Should I just go straight in the middle? You know, why not? Just kind of get a bit of each. You know, the beautiful thing about digital is you can just print them again. If you want the whole flower, just print it again. Okay, so that's that one. I think I'm going to continue tearing, you know, the old mass make idea. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, so there's for January. Just going to pick up my scraps and get them out my road. And then for February, I'm going to do these little family photos. And um, I thought I'd do... That one's cute. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to do any of the edge. I'm just going to do the... The photo, I think. Even though the crinkly edge is one of my favorite things about it. I'm not going to keep his legs. <laughs> I guess I could keep him and put the top of somebody else on there. Now, let's just toss them. Let's just toss them. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. I'm going to do this happy little couple. He's got a cigarette in his hand. Isn't that funny? Could I use that for something? I don't know. I'll decide later. Let's see. So I'll go this way so I can just get it off of here. Okay, and mostly get them. I will, however, throw away their legs too. Oh, that's a cute one. Okay, these little girls. I'm gonna sneeze guys I'm sorry it's just it's just what happens <coughs> oh sorry he gad <laughs> oh okay those cute little girls okay how about these four Oh, and Get Messy Art is where I got the idea of this scrap journal, by the way. Get Messy Art on YouTube. And she says if you do at Scraps Diary in your post of whatever, wherever you're posting, 
then she'll get to see it. I don't know if she's still looking. I mean, it's been a long time. I mean, it's been a year because I have all of 2002 in there. Oh, stop that. There we go. Got to hang on is what you have to do. So, I don't know. I probably should have tore all these before I started the camera. But you know what? Just hanging out with my buddies. Okay, let's go here. Um, I think what I'll do is go like this. Be able to get to them a little easier. Okay, this little couple, it looks like he just came back from the war. Oh, didn't tear properly. It's me getting too, getting too confident. And a pair of legs again. Okay. And this grumpy lady with her wash just cracks me up. It's like, ugh, it's wash day again. I feel your pain. <laughs> it just comes, it just keeps coming, that darn wash. It just, it's never ending. I'm trying not to move the template and it's working sort of okay so there's six right yeah we got seven and eight here these two little girls that's it's actually about the right size of a photo Oh, yeah, that's good. And now this little boy. I think I can get his whole his whole self and not lose his legs. the coordination. I worked on my afghan a little bit last night. The one that my granddaughter said, Anna, finish that. I want it. <laughs> so I got a little bit, a little bit more done. Just kind of trying to do a little bit every evening. Now I can't decide on this one. Do I want this little dude or do I want this baby? And I think I'm going to go with the baby. Let's just go right across there. I was doing so good using up all of these photos. And now I'm going to have a couple of leftovers. But, you know, isn't that the way? Let's see. Let's just do down this side. He's so cute. Whomever you are, little baby, you're so cute. Okay. That would be all we need. Oh, cute. Okay. Her legs are going too. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Now we've got the jelly prints. So what I've got here left over, I've got some leftovers, but I don't believe there's enough there and there's not the variety of color that I would like. So I'm gonna use the 
those three and this one. Okay. And I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to, let's get the edge off this. What I'm going to do is um, put, them, put them in strips instead of little squares. Might as well take this edge off too while we're at it. Ah! Oh, good. I thought I ripped it right down the middle, which wouldn't have mattered. It's probably going to be collage anyways. Um, do I have this one? needs Oh, and this one. These two could use a little. Let's see. I'll just go down this edge. Just looking for a little more variety in color. Got a bit of red I could do it okay and then that should be enough yeah I still have these to figure out are they gonna be pages are they gonna be um, collage and get them to the correct size for my pan so this little project is a work in progress. Okay. So, this, um, let's see. I need, so about, yeah, about six inches would be good, I think, on these. So, I'd like this red part. I'm just gonna tear these in about the right, about the right size here. Okay, we'll use that one. And this one, I'm gonna use this end. I think it's a different color than some of the others. So I'm just measuring it on my on my board here. At the six inches. This one's cool. Let's use this end. It's on the craft colored deli paper. So that's kind of fun. Let's see, this one I for sure wanted to use. And the scraps will just go back in the basket. Let's see. Let's use this end. Just going to tear off a little of the plane there. Okay. This one. I think that's probably enough. We have the others here if we need it. Okay, excuse me one second. So sorry. Okay, let's do this thing. So we're gonna do the quilted ones first. Let's find the first empty page is right here. This is where the book weight comes in handy. And this book weight is on my favorite things. Um, it's a great little, great little thing to have when you're working on a big fat journal or something like this. It's just, it's really great. Okay, I'm gonna set you there. And I kind of want to set up, I like that one, maybe in the middle. Just want to set them up where I'd like them to go. And then it's just a matter of gluing them down and then writing what they are. I think that's just fine. Okay. 
glue page and glue stick. So once we get these in, we'll take a quick flip through again so you can be reminded of the papers that we've put into this little scrap diary. I'm so much fun with this that, oh gosh, guys, I was going to tell you about a new channel that I found on YouTube. Um, not crafting particularly. Um, it is called Abode. And what it is, is a series of, um, of videos on beautiful, you know, castle-like mansions in, um, in the UK where the folks, you know, for whatever reason, they're just really having trouble making ends meet in these huge, huge things. And oftentimes that's, you know, they, they want to do renovations and maintenance and stuff, but just don't have the, the capital to do that. Anyway, uh, this person comes in and helps them figure out a way to make an income from their beautiful, beautiful mansion. And um, in order to either maintain it or keep it or whatever. And, um, you know, the business part of it's kind of interesting, but not my favorite part. My favorite part is just seeing these beautiful, beautiful, huge old estates and, um, you know, multi-winged mansions and stuff. I don't know. I've really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. See, I mean, obviously they don't know I'm sharing it with you, but I don't think they'd mind. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I've only watched a couple, but I really have enjoyed it. So I thought you might too. Okay, well, that's not exactly exactly straight, but that's okay. So then I take my white pen, and this is January 2023. I can't believe it. January 2023. Quilts. Uh, kids one and two. Okay. Dry that off. <laughs> Yay. So there's that one. Then next we're going to do our vintage family photos. Let's pop those on there. I don't know that they we will put the baby in the middle. Cause this is so cute. And just pop these on there. <laughs> this lady's so grumpy about her laundry. Okay, so that will be fine like that. Yeah, so random that 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 YouTube channel came up in my recommended videos and um, the thumbnail just had this gorgeous mansion on it and I was like hmm I wonder what this is well it just the story just completely sucked me in so it was fun to watch and you know I think it's why I like, like, Call the Midwife, and we haven't watched Downton Abbey, but I think it's why people like that, too, in the U.S. is I just love a British accent. It's 
why I love listening to my friend Carrie the Crafter, too. And Rachel is, I mean, hers is an Australian accent, but very similar. So, anyway, I find the... <laughs> I find the English accent very relaxing. So, if I'm watching before I go to sleep, an English accent makes me happy. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to be all caught up and who knows what April's going to bring. We shall see. This is kind of fun because it almost looks like the era of photos that would have been in this little book to begin with, doesn't it? I suppose this could be under the category of me finishing something. My word of 2023. At least catching it up, if not finishing it. <laughs> it won't be finished until it's full. Okay, so this is February. Two thousand twenty three vintage family photos. Okay, this is such a great pen, Uniball Signo, my favorite white pen. Oops, blew all my, <laughs> my scraps everywhere. Okay, okay. So now this one, I'm just gonna like randomly lay these out along the bottom. We'll go bottom to top, I guess. Or should we go top to bottom? Maybe we should go top to bottom. So let's see, what will I call this? Jelly plate, jelly plate strips sewn and doodled. I haven't done my doodling yet. I'm excited to do that though. It's kind of funny because when I put the strips on the paper for the to make the paper with the sewing and doodling. I don't put much glue on them because um, they're going to be sewn and, and stuff. So <laughs> this feels like a lot of glue. But we want them to stick in here. Okay. My husband's really gotten into listening to the podcasts while he walks on the treadmill. It's, it's funny, though. When he walks outside, he doesn't... I think I want to use this one. I think I'm going to maybe need those two. Um, when he's walking outside, he doesn't have his earbuds in, doesn't listen. I don't know if he's worried he'll walk into traffic or what, but... Yeah. It's kind of fun, though, because then he tells me about them. I don't even have to listen to him because he's already told me about them. Let's see. Let's do this one.
need just this one. Yep. Okie dokie. That is done. There we go. There is March. Woohoo! We're caught up, guys. Let me just write in this. Um, March. 2023 jelly print strips sewn is that how you spell sewn? No. Shoot! I made a mistake. Sewn um, we're gonna doodle this <laughs> let's see how could we doodle this to make it let's make these into dots always a solution guys always sewn and doodled There we go. Jelly Prince so doodled. <laughs> oh, what to do, what to do. Okay, so there's my... <laughs> there it is. Okay, so let's look through real quick. So I did my Gail's artware, all of the designs for that. That was um, kind of the beginning of 2002. I did all the 12 designs. Um, and that's on my merch line for new people. This is January. Some jelly prints from January. February. Gosh, I can't believe it was over a year ago that I did the splattered papers. So much fun. These are tracing paper strips. These are my vintage tablecloth digital. These are random scraps. These are these are um, Blue Fern Studios Life Vignettes by Jen Bishop stamps on coffee dyed paper. These are our beeswax papers, July last year. Jeez, I, time flies. Patchwork Digital. These are the feed sack fabrics. Some Florentine paper. This is Patchwork Kit 2 and Bottle Cap Digitals. This is Digitals um, by Amity Bloom that I used in my Shirley Temple, Shirley Temple Altered Book. These are Cabinet Card Kit 2. Oh, and then I put my 2023 Word for the Year finish there too. I'll have to remember to do that. And the end of this year. So then there's the ones we did today. Fun. All done. I found this book for new folks. I found this book at an estate sale and it's been awesome. It does collect everything because it's like wool. So, okie dokie folks. Where are we at? Oh, we've got 20 minutes. So I wanted to show you this thought that I had. Let's get rid of the scraps over. Oh, I better keep my template in my book, hadn't I? There we go. Okay. So, these little scraps here, um, these are from cutting out digitals where uh, the digital creator put um, a background. So, I'm not sure. I think this was Paper Baker Creations. And I just... You know cut out cut out the main thing I was cutting out but I was left with all these fun little strips and I thought why not make those into clusters 
So basically, I have some that are the same size. So let's see if we can just kind of make some kind of clusters out of those. So I've got my got my big old thing of big old thing of stuff. Ooh, that's a cool one. That could be a Christmas one. Okay. Let's just see what we've got here for scraps. Got this little guy. That'd be cool. This one's nice. And then I've got that. Could do something like that. Am I in screen with those top ones? Okay, just had to make sure. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of go through my scraps and see what I have that could that could work with these. Let me get my stapler. That's always a good way. And what I'll do is just get the get the paper kind of put together. And then um, like for instance, this one, I would put a flower or butterfly or something right there. But I'm gonna call that one done, the base of it there. Okay, let's see what else. Ooh, that's cool. Maybe we could go like that with that one. Build on that some more as we find some scraps. This is a cool scrap. I think this is a, is that Tim Holtz probably? But the backgrounds of these are so um, are so nicely neutral that I might go like that with that one. They're so neutral that you can kind of just put fun things on them. Okay, I'm gonna set the scraps I've already gone through up there. They don't make the cut the first time they're out. Oh, look, I've got a, apparently, I've got a little notebook all ready to go. And I threw that in my scraps. Well, look at there. That just about, just about fits it. Let's see if we can fold this in half. The uh, Blue Fern Studio paper is really thick. I'm just going to run on it with my fingernail. Let's go this way. Might as well finish this guy off, huh? My Tim Holtz tiny attacher. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, it hasn't been working I mean, it, it gets to a certain point and then it doesn't want to staple. I don't know what its deal is. Usually if I adjust it a little like that, it'll, yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, there's a <laughs> bonus. There's a notepad. Ooh, this one would be, that one would be kind of neat with it. Yeah. Okay, I got to scooch over a little bit. I'm crowding myself. We'll just see what else we might have. Oh, here's another little Tim Holtz piece. I'm going to flip this around and put that right there, I think. Hmm, I feel like it could use another little piece somewhere. There, that's not bad. Okay, so these two are done in that they're stapled. Now 
I kind of want something to go across. Well, we'll set it there and we'll see. This one, the Timmy thing too. Um, that's the exact same size. I don't think I want the exact same size. Okay. We've looked at those. Excited to get a few, at least a few pieces out of here because it's just really full. My little envelope is very full. So I'll pull that out a little. Put that in the middle. Let's put this one crossways and staple. Done. Okay. Ooh, this dark green could be nice on this one that I was thinking of kind of having for Christmas, except I don't want to cover up this. Maybe we go like that. Okay, I like that. And then it can have a let's go over. Can have an embellishment right there. Okay, there's a Christmas one. <laughs> Still doing Christmas completely out of order. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a one one maybe maybe we go like that I kind of want something tall and skinny heaven knows I need to have a have a go with these long skinny strips I actually let me show you I also have some long skinny strips that were from fussy cutting that same project Ooh, maybe this. Would this be cool? A little piece of embossed paper. Yeah, I like that. And I think I'm going to put this up here a little bit. That's where I would want a focal point is right there. Okay, cool. Could do this all day, so I better keep an eye on my clock here. Okay, none of these are, well, this one might wanted something to go across this. What about that sort of yellow vellum? It's kind of cool. Let's do that. Okay, that one's done. These we've looked at. Put them up there. It's a big piece. Ooh. like that definitely like that again I need like a strip or something to go down the middle what about it's kind of cool stapled right where the hole is and so it didn't catch <laughs> sheezy peasy gale go to the side of the hole okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three in like I did that on purpose <laughs> oh dear okay we've got a little texty something something here I don't mind that. I feel like it needs a little something more. A small little square of something. 
Oh. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> oh, here's some little squares. could be like a tuck or something needs something kind of behind it I like that a little a little strip of something down that side No. Nope. I don't know. Not coming up with anything right at the moment. Oh, what about this? Yep. Okay. I am going to okay, stay. And of course, this little guy, I'm actually going to do that underneath. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I don't know why it does this. If you guys have any good advice, let me know. annoying that it does it though see and then it's happy once I I don't know I don't know okay this one needs just a little something in the middle like a little Rip. Okay. Now I'm happy. I can put some decoration in the middle and actually I'm not happy. I'm not happy with my Tim Holtz a tiny attacher right now. I don't know if I'm down too low on that particular row of staples or what the deal is. Uh Use me while I dump them out. See, I'm down to like four right there. So I don't know if that's it or what. But hopefully this will work. There we go. Okay, well... I am going to call that good, but I just, with this, wanted to make the point that these bits from cutting something out, if the digital designer is kind enough to put a background to their fussy cuts, you can use the bits that you cut off 
and um, and make some cool stuff out of them. Make some cool um, clusters. So, yeah. So that and the scrappy di or the scrap diary is what we've got today. So thank you so much for hanging out with me this Saturday and doing a little scrap busting. So I hope you have a grateful day and we will just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.